What's going on guys? Alex here, Nickens Lawn and Landscape. Today we are going to talk about leaf removal setups, uh, specifically whether we should use a dump trailer or a dump truck for our leaf collection system for our vacuum to shoot into. So previously we've always ran a dump trailer. Uh, we just had our vacuum either mounted on the front of the trailer. We've actually had the vacuum mounted on the front of the trailer, the back of the trailer, and then uh, last year when we got our new vacuum we left it on the pallet and we would just put it in and out of the dump truck um, every day. That way the vacuum wasn't sitting outside. We couldn't get our trailer in the shed. Um, so that was our way of keeping it out of the weather. So this year we're gonna switch it up a little bit. We're gonna try to run the dump truck and build our box on the back of here. And then what we're gonna do is pull our lawn care trailer. We're gonna have the vacuum mounted on the front of that shooting into the back of the dump truck. And then we're gonna have our walk behind mower on the trailer as well. And we're gonna have along with us the leaf plow and the blower buggy. And then we'll squeeze the walk behind blower on there too. So we're gonna try to utilize all the equipment in one setup. Um, in the past what we've done, if we needed all that was bring two trucks and trailers. And it was nice having the extra room on that big dump trailer, having the big walls built up on it. I'll show you guys a picture of that real quick right here. Um, so that thing could hold a lot for sure. But it is going to be nice having the mower with us at all times. We'll probably bring the accelerator uh, grass catcher with us too at all times. So, so we'll kind of have a mixed bag of goodies with us at all times ready to knock these jobs out. We've also even entertained getting a 52 inch zero turn with some kind of bagging system. So if anybody's got to use the Ferris Xmark Skag walker anything like that that has a bagging system send me a message let me know leave a comment whatever of hours and asking price and all that good stuff it would have to be something that was in decent shape they'd be getting used a lot um, so if anybody has anything of that nature let me know and that's something that we're just kind of tossing around but right now it's all about building this um, and real quick i'll walk over uh what i've thought and i'm just kind of thinking out loud here um, i've only looked at this one other time and kind of tried to put it all together but I measured and we have about 15 inches to right here. Um, and I'm, make, I'm wanting to make this six foot minimum off of this floor. This bed is seven foot wide and eight foot long. So if we go six foot high, um, that would give us a decent amount of space. Uh, the dump trailer a lot of times was overkill. Uh, if we filled that thing up in one day, we were really hustling. It was a dawn to dusk type day. Um, so this thing I think will be fine. I think there will be a couple occasions throughout the uh, season where we'll have to go dump twice in one day, but I don't think it's going to be every day. And like I said, I think it'll be kind of a, a rare occasion if we're really trying to bust them out before rain or something of that sort, or if we get, uh, get a big job and we're trying to get it all done one day versus going back the next day for an hour or two or something, something of that nature. And those will come up, uh, but for the most part, I think that's going to hold plenty. Um, but what I'm thinking here is I've seen other people have just like 2x12s or 2x10s or whatever go all the way up and that's going to be a lot of weight and those are also expensive. So I'm going to, uh, I may do some fabrication, some metal fabrication and build this bracket a little taller or something. Not quite sure, but I'm going to go uh, basically with a square frame, I think, with a couple supports in it and I'm going to go up six feet and I'm going to do the same thing over there. And then right here, instead of trying to incorporate this and use this piece, especially since there's the holes right there for your uh, rear view mirror, I think I'm just going to cut it right here and just make a solid piece that goes all the way across right here and then just go up from there. So I think, uh, I think that's the route I'm going to go. And then for the back, it's just going to be one solid piece and it's going to hinge from the top. So whenever you dump your leaves, you'll drop this down like you normally would. So this will come down and be laying flat right here. And then as you dump, that uh, back door is just going to kind of open itself up. And when you get the when you get all the way up or whatever, and you drive off, it's just kind of kind of right on top of the leaves and and let everything come out of there. So I've seen those. I'll definitely have to get some heavy duty hinges. Um, but that's pretty much my plan. Uh, and this one probably won't be our setup for the full year. Once we get the engine swapped in the other truck, the plan is to use that one. So this is so. kind of a guinea pig uh, type project for the first time. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but that's pretty much all I got for this one, guys. Just wanted to uh, think out loud and tell you guys what I'm thinking. If you have any suggestions, please leave those down in the comments. Like I said, I've never built one on a dump truck before. So if you have anything that can help me out, please let me know. Please uh, inform me so I can use that in my building process and my decision making process. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and let me know about your
setup and let me know how you like this video. If you're not subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.